Hello, I'm David Nussbaum, Chief Executive of WWF UK. A year or so ago, I climbed about 150 feet up a scaffold-like tower in the middle of the Amazon forest in Brazil. Standing up there, looking around at the forest canopy, all that was visible in every direction, as far as the eye could see, was forest, nothing else. But a couple of days later, I saw other areas which had had until recently been forest, but were no longer. A big part of WWF's mission is safeguarding the natural world. And so throughout its history, WWF has chosen to fight against the destruction of rainforests. Now the science is clear. Tackling global deforestation is not a choice, it is an imperative. With deforestation contributing between 15 and 20 percent of gre global greenhouse gas emissions, it's clear that any solution to the problem of climate change must include solutions to deforestation. And we need those solutions to start delivering now to avoid greater costs and indeed greater damage down the line. The work of the informal working group on interim financing for RED has demonstrated the potential to deliver a 25% reduction in emissions from deforestation by 2015. That's estimated to cost somewhere between 15 and 25 billion euros in total. Now that may sound like quite a lot of money, but this is a relatively cost-effective opportunity and offers the prospect of achieving 7 gigatons of emission reductions during that time. That's more than the annual emissions of the USA or of China. And it can provide significant support for low carbon development, conserve biodiversity and benefit local communities and indigenous peoples while helping to conserve the world's forests. Now, to achieve this will require financial support. What the informal working group maps out then is not restricted to capacity building, nor is it predicated on a forest carbon market that is still only a rather distant prospect. Instead, it focuses on a practical way to start paying developing forest nations for performance now, whilst simultaneously incentivizing them to build their capacity to conserve their forests. Already, many developing countries are putting forward plans and goals to cut their emissions, including those from deforestation. Mexico and Indonesia have offered to reduce emissions. Brazil has already offered 80% reductions in deforestation in the Amazon by 2020. And this is being translated into goals within states such as Acre to help deliver this. WWF believes that measures to tackle deforestation, including support for rapid action, must be a part of a legally binding agreement at the crucial Copenhagen conference. But a funding gap remains between what is required to move forward and what is presently on the negotiating table. So we must address this problem now. It's time for the developed world to commit to making this a reality. We simply cannot afford to let it slip us by if we are to build a future in which people and nature thrive.